Let's cross live now to Gerald Salente, publisher of the Trends Journal, for more on what's happening now in Fallujah. Now, Mr. Salente, you predicted the escalation of sectarian violence uh, happening in Iraq uh, years before, obviously, uh, when America was initially talking about going in. What's your reaction to all of this happening now? Well, you know, I, I love the language. You know, who are the militants? I mean, the place is up for grabs and has been. It's a total disaster, as we said it would happen uh, when, it, when the war began. I did an op-ed piece for Gannett News and said exactly what would happen. And then you look at the lies, one on top of another. We heard from Colin Powell how at the UN when he said that we know where the 500 tons of chemical agents are. And so did Donald Rumsfeld in the lead up to it. No doubt we know where the weapons of mass destruction are, and there weren't any. The United States and this coalition of the willing have destabilized the entire region. This isn't just about Iraq. Let us not forget the Libyan humanitarian mission, or better yet, the time-limited, scope-limited kinetic action started by Sarkozy, uh, Cameron, and Obama. So the entire region is being destabilized by the wars that the imperialist colonial powers have waged in that area. Okay, let's look at, um, at Iraq specifically, the capture of Fallujah and the declaration of an Islamic state so close to the country's capital. Uh, so, so strategically important. It's a major victory, it would appear, for al-Qaeda. Uh, how serious can this get, do you think? Well, it, it's very serious. Look, if you've been following the reports and the trends going on in Iraq, virtually every day you pick up the news, 12 dead in Baghdad, 15 in Kirkuk. Every day, every day going on nonstop. And again, you go back to the lies by by Vice President Dick Cheney at the time, back in a year after the war uh, began. He said, the Iraq war is behind us. Quote, you listen to the General Ordinero, who was the major general running the show at the time. Back in a year after the war began, he said, we have six to 12 months for the end of the insurgency. It's one lie being told to the people after the next. So when the whole situation blows up now as it has, all of a sudden they said, how did this happen? The place has been up for grabs since the United States and the coalition of the willing invaded it. There's no end in sight. It's going to get much worse. Uh, given what, what you may be looking at uh, from your standpoint, given the bitter fighting to main, uh, maintain control of Fallujah, what chance do you think local residents could have there on the ground of fighting off these militants? It, again, it's slim and none. We have to understand what the numbers are, depending on who you look at. It, it's estimated that a million Iraqis have been killed since the United States and the coalition invaded. So these people have no will to fight anymore. It's tribal warfare. Again, it's what we wrote back in 2005 in the Trends Journal. Rather than unite the country, the upcoming Iraqi elections will create deeper political tribal conflict, hardening religious divisions, and push Iraq into more chaos and a bloody civil war. Again, that's, that was actually written in December of 2004. So no, there's no end in sight. The people, the country is in ruins. All right, well thank you very much for your input, Gerald Salente, geopolitical analyst and publisher of the Trends Journal. Thank you.